This is not what it's supposed to look like. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are we back. Um, team welcome back to my channel if you would like to join the j team you just have to click subscribe okay so today i'm going to challenge myself to make the famous gordon chef ramsey beef wellington now look i have been wanting to do this for a while but i was kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie i mean beef wellington it's a lot this is a very upscale fancy dish at a restaurant this meal is about what like between 57 to 100 dollars that's a lot now why i don't know i think it's because of the cut of the meat is so precious that's where all your money going let's just hope the flavor reflects the price i'm going to be following gordon chef ramsey's recipe because first of all i'm a huge fan anything that he touches i watch you have to have beef in this case they gave me a couple of cuts we're gonna make it work other main ingredients that you are going to need to make this some thyme the herbs some wild mushrooms my store did not have wild mushrooms so i'm going to be using portobello mushrooms in hopes that it's not going to make or break this meal i don't really know the difference between portobello and wild mushrooms i don't know how about we ask alexa alexa what is the difference between portobello mushrooms and wild mushrooms this might answer your question. Agaricus bisporus is an edible Basidium seed mushroom native to grasslands in Europe and North America. Mushrooms in the world. Dot shades of gray brown, white, and tan decorate the layers of wrinkled caps on Bruh. this delicate Asian mushroom. Base of hardwood tree trunks extending outward from the tree. Okay. Uh. Maybe we got our answer. Maybe we didn't. Thank you, Alexa. Also going to need some prosciutto. Let me make sure I say it right because I do say things incorrectly. Prosciutto, prosciutto, prosciutto. <laughs> it's either pro, prosciutto, or prosciutto. Which one? Let me know below because. Make sure you also have puff pastry. That's important as well. You cannot make beef wellington without puff pastry. Now that you know the foundation of this recipe, let's just go ahead and get started. We're gonna be using these three lovely cuts. First, the most important part is to sear it. Salt, pepper, and fill it. Mine does not look like that. I wish they would have cut me longer pieces, but this was a delivery order. Okay, so salt and pepper. That's easy. The next thing Gordon said was to put it in a hot steaming pan with some olive oil just to give it a nice sear. And your girl know about searing, so this shouldn't be hard. Olive oil. Some of y'all know that my pan is kind of special. It don't always act right, but that's okay. We're gonna try to make this work. Put it in. We're cooking three, so. Nice little sear. So now I'm supposed to take some mustard, Dijon mustard, preferably. I'm supposed to put the mustard on the beef. So let's go. Now I don't have the little brush thing like chef ramsey okay so we gonna make it work okay we always do into a blender add a chopped clove of garlic season with salt and pepper all right in here i have mushrooms salt and pepper and i'm gonna add garlic that's the next thing luckily mine is already blended up thank god because i mean it's getting kind of crowded up in here don't you think Processor, so that might have given this more of a texture it might not supposed to be but the show must go on 
Oh, so we're gonna cook it? I'm starting to realize you need certain tools to do this. You cannot cut corners. That is what I'm starting to realize. Even though we did not get the mushroom texture right, I wanna still see if that's going to impact if it tastes good or not. The next thing is to put the mushroom filling in a dry pan. So let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna be so interesting. Oh my gosh, Trinity, what did you do? This is not what it's supposed to look like. Oh my goodness, this is not it. You know what's so crazy? It doesn't even smell bad though. Gordon Ramsay said that this was a very essential part. <laughs> oh man. Go ahead and put in our time. I'm definitely redeeming myself. I don't know when, but I'm gonna remake this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it better. Now I'm gonna be putting this beef wellington together. Now listen, I'm an artiste, so I'm gonna make it work. I don't know how, but I'm gonna make it work. I have my prosciutto. Gotta be real gentle. And he says overlap them. That's already crooked, girl. You off to a bad start. Even though this isn't going as planned, I'm very excited to try it still because this might be as close as I'm gonna get. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, this is looking like some steak wrapped in bacon to me. <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect, I'm just saying. He said, don't put no salt on this. Just put pepper because there's enough salt. There's enough salt in this ham. Sprinkle of pepper. All right. The mushrooms. <laughs> the mushrooms. Oh Lord. Ooh, if you just would've turned out right. I would've been good. I need to buy a food processor. this y'all it is mushrooms that's what it is it's mushrooms y'all saw what it is you know what this might this might be the new thing though this might be a better way to do it maybe i might be on to something i might be on to something so let's see here how is he placing this all right place the beef i don't know where to place it how to place it right here maybe this costs a lot of money and money don't grow on trees so, so this is how i'm gonna roll it up <laughs> we ain't got no more mushrooms just stay together that's all you gotta do is just stay together all right nice and tight roll it nice and tight nice and tight all the way over. Now, the secret from here is to really let the clim film do the work. Just nip it at the ends and squeeze. So now I'm going to put it in the freezer and let it firm up. I'm gonna double wrap this thing just to make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, 
Let's get our beef out. It looks like it's coming together. I think I think it's gonna taste good. Ooh, looky there. Look at this. It's all nice and attached, which is necessary. Take the saran wrap and fold it over. That might be where it needs to stop. Wait. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't cut too much. Now. Together to ensure the beef is completely sealed in its pastry cake. Okay, so make sure the sides are completely sealed. And now we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. Oh, Jesus. All right. And now I'm gonna twist the sides. Oh, gosh. Oh man, see, I told you, the sides might be the hardest thing ever. Let me just twist this real good. Ah! Okay, let's just let's double wrap this thing. Put some egg wash on here. Now listen, I don't have that little tool that uh, Chef Ramsey was using, but I think this is still gonna come out pretty nicely. For the longest part, I'm going to put this in the oven for 35 minutes. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Look, look, I'm proud. I am proud of myself for getting this far. It looks good. It looks good. All the ingredients are there. Now the skill and the execution, a little bit of a struggle, but all the ingredients are there. Now we're about to cut it and hopefully it is cooked. Now, Gordon Ramsay, he cooked his like rare, medium rare over here. I'm okay with whatever, as long as it's not raw. Listen to how flaky it is. That's flaky. Ooh, I don't even wanna cut into it. I did all of this hard work, and now it's about to be over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, kind of nervous. Ooh, who that cut was all right. This looks very much similar to Chef Ramsay's. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it for me. That's what the inside looks like. Dear Lord, please bless this food and let it be nourishment.
for my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all saw the struggles and obstacles that I went through. And look, it smells good. This, I know it's about to be good. I know. This is so good. I did that. Me. Wow. Mm. 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 Wow. Let's go ahead and uh let's cut another piece. Once again, this only goes to show if you believe in yourself, you can do anything, even new things, difficult things, uncomfortable things, you can do it. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, you just have to click subscribe, turn on notification bell, and let me know below. And whatever you do out here, make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!